Hey guys, it's Tilly and I am cursed. I swear I've actually been cursed with the worst reading slump that I have ever encountered. And the worst part about this reading slump is that every time I try to force myself to get over it, I get delivered with a really, really average book that just sinks me further into this reading slump. So today I'm going to give you guys my wrap up from May, June, July, August, September until this very present time. It is going to be a pretty average wrap up. I have got eight books in front of me and none of them I absolutely loved which really, really sucks, but I can say that right now I am currently reading Nevernight by Jay Kristoff, and I am also reading Gerald's Game by Stephen King, and I'm enjoying both, even though Gerald's Game is, like, really, really weird. So I know that my reading slump will turn around, and I shall read many books once again. I really hope so, anyway. So let's get started. These are in no particular order, and I'm just gonna jump straight into it. First up, we have Lullabies by Lang Lear. This is a short collection of poetry that isn't actually that short. Um, there are a few poems in this book that I really did like and enjoy, but a lot of them I found myself of just skipping over. I couldn't really connect to it as much as I kind of hoped I would and I don't know if it was just because I was in the reading slump or I read it at the wrong time but I just I didn't really fall in love with it as much as I hoped that I would. Time. You were the one I wanted most to stay but time could not be kept at bay. The more it goes the more it's gone the more it takes away. That's the poem on the back there so I kind of liked that little poem but yeah, the rest of it just didn't live up to what I was hoping. This next book is a real highly anticipated book that I wanted to read because I really, really enjoyed the first book. But once again, I'm not sure if it's the reading slump or if it's just me as a reader, but I find that I'm kind of leaving the middle grade area behind. So when I read Magnus Chase and the Hammer of Thor by Rick Rawdon, I didn't even finish the book. Actually, I don't even know if I did or did not finish it. Like, if I think about it now, I can't remember the ending of this book. I just, I couldn't keep on reading it. Like, I didn't find that I was interested in the storyline as much or the characters. And I just... I couldn't do it. And I really do love Rick Rawdon, so I kind of hope that maybe it was just the reading slump because I do want to continue reading his books, but I don't think that I'm going to pick up the next one in this series. Unless you guys really think that I should, like, tell me if, like, the ending was really, really bomb and that, like, I should continue to read it, but I just couldn't do it. These next chunk of books are what I call my go-to reading slump books. I am someone who's absolutely trash for romance novels, especially new adult romance novels where like they're a little bit steamy, a little bit sexy and you get these like mysterious men and these smart ass women and they just make mistakes throughout the book but you kind of know it's going to be a happily ever after in the end anyway so I started to flick through those. The first that I picked up was Lick by Kylie Scott. My mum likes to read these books as well and she has like an entire shelf full and so I kind of thought hey there's like a half naked guy in the cover, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this. But instead I found myself rolling my eyes every few chapters because some of the characters just made really really stupid decisions. Decisions. I did finish the book and I did not rate it as high as I have seen other people rate it But I'm also not going to continue on with the series So in this book you have Evelyn Thomas and on her 21st birthday in Vegas She ends up getting married to some really big rock star. I can't remember his name David the lead guitarist of stage dive and they went to get an annulment and then things go wrong or whatever and they don't get an annulment but they end up falling in love with each other and Yeah, that was the main storyline. Yay. I then read Remind Me How This Ends by Gabrielle Toza. I have heard many great things about this book and although I did enjoy it, it wasn't exactly like amazing or wow or one of my all time favourites. I managed to read it from beginning to end within I think about a week which was pretty good timing for me in this reading slump. So in this book you have Layla and bad things happen to her in this little town including her mother passing away. She has problems with her dad and she doesn't really have very many friends and she moves back to the small town after a few years of away and trying to like forget her past. And she comes back to the small town and she ends up running to her old best friend Milo where he kind of helps her to accept the past and what happened with her mother but also they kind of like have like a little maybe spark happening but they both have boyfriends and girlfriends so it really should be forbidden but that's that book. It was good. Um, there were some parts that I did like. There was pretty cutesy parts in it. Probably one of the best that I have read during the reading slump though. These next two books are rereads and it's because I knew that I would really enjoy them. And the first one is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover and the second one I currently have out on loan is November 9. Both of these are like books that I really enjoy by Colleen Hoover. I think they're my two favourite ones by her. And I reread them because I annotated them for a friend of mine and um, I just kind of fell in love with the stories all over again. If you guys do like new adult romances, I definitely recommend Colleen Hoover. She just writes amazing books with characters that you're going to fall in love with. So in this book you have Tate Collins who is the sister to a pilot and she goes to move in with her brother who is the pilot. And he also lives in his apartment with all his other pilot friends including the mysterious Miles Archer that backstory you figure out along the way. And of course 
a little bit of a spark is going to happen between these very two attractive people and um, things go on and there's mystery and you guys will have to unravel that mystery and there might be tears and definitely a bit of heartbreak and you guys will thoroughly enjoy it. And November 9 is about this couple that meets on November 9 and they decide to meet up every single year for the next five years on the November 9th. Of course things just aren't going to be that easy. They do fall in love very quickly and waiting a whole year without contact from each other can cause a few problems. Next up we have The Green Mile by Stephen King. This book I did enjoy. I have watched the movie before I read the book so I found that a lot of it was just kind of like glancing over chapters that I had already pretty much watched which I know is like the biggest cheat that a reader could possibly do so I guess I am a cheat but I did really really enjoy this book. I did feel good to have a bit more insight on the characters and the storyline as well. I did enjoy it and I did finish it so that's definitely something because I don't tend to read a lot of like adult fiction so I'm branching out guys, I'm branching out. The second last book that I read was Marsh and Me by Martine Murray. This is a very very easy read but once again it was a bit more of like a middle grade book so I did find myself not enjoying it as much as I probably should have. Once again I hope it does just come down to the reading slump but yeah I, I still gave it I think like a three and a half star rating. It was very cute and I did like the idea of the book but I just don't think it was really for me. In this book you have a young kid called Joey who is um, wanting to be a musician. He's very happy to be on his own and then one day he finds that someone has built a tree house in his favourite tree. She is apparently a very strange girl that has a lot of mystery and Joey really wants to find out who she is. And as for the last book that I read I don't know where I have placed it but it is the book that I read for my Dimmix book club group and it was called The Bums That Brought Us Together by Brian Conigan. I really loved the concept of this book. I would have very much enjoyed it more if it wasn't for the main character of the book who was really really annoying and I could not stand reading from his point of view and there was just a few other problems in this book like the side characters were a little bit more interesting than any of the main characters the main characters made loads of stupid decisions the writing in it was a bit like up and down some parts I really enjoyed and other parts it just fell flat I wasn't really sure who the target audience of this book was for because it read very middle gradey but then they would have swear words and talking about like balls and stuff in it which I don't think is like really for like younger kids if that makes sense. I don't know it was a pretty weird book to read. I didn't finish the book though and um, people have told me that the ending of the book is the best part ever but I just didn't get around to it. So there you guys have my wrap up. Hopefully I will be back next month with a way better wrap up. I mean I've already got Never Night on the list so it's gonna be fantastic anyway because I'm really really enjoying that book. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching and have a lovely bookish day.